Hello Internet, I'm your only mate and it's time for another episode of Ruby Chibi Season 3. This is episode 5, uh, titled Girls Night Out, I believe. Now as I should say with all my reaction videos, please click the link in the description below to go watch the actual episode itself. Like, subscribe, all of that stuff, then come back to watch this video. Okay, good. Support the official release. Okay, so, the title and the thumbnail. The girls are getting ready for a night out. Did I just say a night out? What the fuck? <laughs> night out. What's wrong with me today? I just got off work, so... Might be a little bit, uh... Out of it. That, uh... Who knows, I might make the video entertaining, so fuck it. Um... <laughs> um... I should stop saying that. So yeah, that's all I can really say. I'm not sure what to expect. I'm just going to shut up and hit play. I did not intend for that to rhyme. Should probably turn the mouse on before I start. Right. And play. Ruby TV. Mercury. What the fuck? <laughs> My favorite henchman. Do you really mean that? That's just sad. <laughs> Why do I even bother to keep the others around? You're so. <laughs> Rose just staring at him. I know. She's all. Ooh. I don't know if I'm really evil or just evil curious. And real cast an illusion on him and freak him out. Please. And don't get me started on. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Is everyone just watching it? Oh god. Oh god. They're just gonna murder him, aren't they? <laughs> As I say it! Oh god. Something that disturbing again, I will barbecue your creepy butt. The real tragedy is that's probably the best girlfriend he's ever had. Sorry, <laughs> damn, that's mean. Where's my twin sister? What the fuck? Okay, why is everyone so fancy? We're all going out dancing. We got VIP passes to a hot new nightclub. Nice. Blake is excited. I'm ecstatic. That sounds fun. I got some new moves I've been wanting to try out. I think they've only got four tickets, dude. You can't go. And is it's it a Are they too fresh? girls' night out. Sorry, guys. This is a girls' night out. No boys allowed. Fine with me. Uh, yeah, it's cool. They're gonna cross dress, aren't they? Have a super fun night planned anyway. We do. I have no memory of this. <laughs> Such a kidder. Come on, Ren, let's go raise the roof. Why? Is there something wrong with it? I it's a figure of speech, you idiot. Well, that was just sad. Don't worry about them. Worry about this town. Because we're about to set it on fire. Girls night! When Yang says that, I can imagine that actually happening. I got stung by me. <laughs> That's why my face looks like that. Is this the super fun part of the night, or... Oh, you're right. Let me get the spinach to you. I've got two kinds. Uh, maybe girls' night would have been more fun. Probably. What the f Okay! Yeah, what the f- Fubi's into that! Okay, I- Okay, those last reactions. Uh, Blake is, like, traumatized. Uh, why is this horrified? Ruby's like, yeah! Like, uh, I think that... Yang's standing proud, I can actually see that. <laughs> what the f- Okay! Uh, 
Uh, there's not really much I can say about that, but Jesus Christ. And I love how he said, I can actually see that happening, and then it fucking happens. What the fuck? <laughs> okay, and for anyone who was, like, wondering, like, the reason I immediately went to cross-dressing for, uh... Jean and Ren, I thought they were going to still try and tag along onto the girls' night out by, well, dressing as girls and whatnot. It's It would kind of also tie into them being based off of, like, you know, cross-dressing, like, legends and whatnot, like John of Arc and Mulan. That, that's why my mind kind of went to that. I thought, oh, that would have been, like, a little bit clever. Then, nope, completely different route. <laughs> The... Yeah, so there's that. Mercury. Really, dude? Though I still love the fact that everyone was just standing there and just watching. The part of me was still hoping that Emerald would, like, I don't know, do her illusion thing. Because we haven't really seen her do that in one of these. I mean, come on, there's so much potential. Have, have, her, have Emerald, like, cast an illusion on someone to make it funny. Like, there's a lot you can do with that, I'm sure. So. There we go. And uh, the thing I said I was going to talk about in a minute. In a minute. What the fuck? <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with my speech today. The thing I said I was going to talk about in a minute. Uh, the transition with uh, Crescent Rose. I've been noticing on YouTube the with the transitions, like when you turn on the UK subtitles, the the transitions have like death battle preview titles. There was a port gets manly for a death battle, send the fool blazes into death battle, Crowbron when stumbles into death battle. That one's my personal favorite. Uh. Yang shotguns into death battle. I still think that a little nod to Yang versus Tifa would have been amazing. So a bit of a missed opportunity there, I gotta say. Curious as to what that one is gonna be, and I, for some reason, I just can't shake this feeling that all of these are foreshadowing something, like maybe another Ruby character being in a death battle this year. Possibly. If so, I know who I want it to be. And before anyone says anything, no, I don't think it's going to be Ruby. I mean, yeah, we know Ruby is going to fight Marco one day, but I don't think it's going to be this year. I got someone else in mind. Although if people know me, they probably know what it is. And they're probably sick of me talking about that. So I'm just going to end the video there. Uh, thanks for watching, all of that stuff. I'm not going to bother doing the... Click here to the subscribe thing again. Uh, or put my headphones on it. So, whatever. I'm just going to go back to the regular face for watching all of that stuff. And here's my Tracer outro. Bye. Hello, loves. Tracer here. You've just watched a video by your only mate. Subscribe, like, comment, and check out his other stuff. Cheers, loves.